Uh, here's a quick video on the uh, Quest 2 controllers if you're having any uh, stick drift movement. So if you're in game and your character just starts uh, drifting across the screen without touching the joystick at all, a uh, quick tutorial for cleaning it. Um, it's pretty simple. You're going to remove your battery cover here. All right, take your battery out. <clears throat> and uh, what I like to use is the uh, WD-40 contact cleaner. Uh, you can also use the uh, isopropyl alcohol. Either one will work great. Uh, but while you're doing the repair, just make sure you take the battery out so you don't take a chance of ruining the electronics. Um, to get this faceplate cover here off, uh, it's rather simple. From the manufacturer, uh, they, they put a little bit of bead of the adhesive right here between the controller itself and the faceplate. You can use a razor blade to work it out. Uh, just be careful. You can see the, you've got the menu option button there. So you're going to insert the razor blade right here on the edge. And you're just going to start working along the edge here. Okay. To right here to this side. And keep going back and forth. Be careful not to cut yourself. Um, but once you get it, you can kind of pry up with the uh, razor blade here. And you'll see the faceplate is starting to lift up um, as I get through the adhesive. And there it is right there. It's starting to lift off. Uh, once you get it there, at this point, I could probably just pull this one off. If you can't, use a screwdriver right here to pry up just a little bit. It's The plate itself is pretty flexible and there's uh, not going to you know, break very easily, basically. Um, but you can see here is the, the faceplate here coming up. Just pull equally on each side as you go around so you don't take a chance of breaking it. There's the faceplate there, and this is what the uh, controller looks like. Now, once you get the controller to this point here, you can just grab a hold of this uh, the joystick, and you can pull it off. You just pull up on it. Hopefully, I capture the video, and it comes right off. Uh, if you notice, there is a spring um, that stays on. Just make sure that it stays there. Okay. Now, once you get to this point, you'll take the, uh, the contact cleaner, and you'll just quite liberally spray it all in here. You'll move the joystick around a bunch, click down on it. Spray it again, click. Just keep spraying the area. And then you're gonna take and uh, reassembly is, is quick and easy. Your joystick can only go back on one way, or actually could you could flip it if, uh, if like in this case, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but the joystick uh, is worn out quite a bit. This controller is an original from launch, but you just stick the uh, joystick back on and you just push it down and that's it. And uh, you can see where the adhesive uh, bead was for the faceplate. <clears throat> now, again, you don't need to uh, put any more adhesive on uh, to reinstall the faceplate. If you look at the back here, there's a couple different detents uh, that will push in and stay there. Uh, one thing to note while I've got the controller here apart, there's another spring uh, right here. Just be careful you don't lose that uh, when you take the controller apart itself. And uh, assembly is very, very easy. <clears throat> so you stick the faceplate back on and just push it and it will stay back and you'll have no problems. I'd give the controller uh, another minute or so to let the contact cleaner dry out. Um, if you don't use, if you don't have contact cleaner, like I said, you can use rubbing alcohol. Uh, it will work just as well. Uh, you just apply it in this uh, the hole, same way you do with the uh, cleaner, except for it's just not sprayed, obviously. Um, <clears throat> but this should help fix your controller drift issues. Uh, a lot of people have in the past done it without removing the faceplate. They've just sprayed in here. It does work. However, usually you don't get as long of uh, duration between the cleanings and you have to do it again. So uh, that's it. Put the battery back in. And that's it. If anybody's interested in the, uh, the way I created these controller uh, holds, uh, I have another video on that as well. Uh, hopefully that helps you. Uh, if you have any questions, just comment below. And oh, one last thing. If you don't have a razor blade, a steak knife will work. Just be careful. Don't cut yourself. Thanks, guys.